It is the 31st century. Ulysses killed the giant Cyclops when he rescued the children and his son Telemachus. But the ancient gods of Olympus are angry and threaten a terrible revenge. Mortals, you defy the gods? I sentence you to travel among unknown stars. Until you find the kingdom of Hades, your bodies will stay as lifeless as stones. Planet, same consistency as Earth, nearing end of Ice Age. That's one enormous robot. No, it's not a robot. It's a fossil. And that one down there? A dinosaur. An animal that lived on Earth millions of years ago. Father, Shurka reports an Earth-like planet the way it was 200 million years ago. Yes, with a small difference, Telemachus. What difference is that, Ulysses? Shurka put up a visual display of comparative data. On screen. Now, look carefully. Here's the Earth as it was 200 million years ago. In the past, the Earth had only one massive continent. And only one ocean, do you see? But I don't understand the difference. Just a minute, Yumi. Put up a visual comparison of the Earth as it is today. Oh. Now, Shurka, draw a line that passes through both poles. As you requested. Oh! It doesn't slide in the same direction. The Earth's axis is different. Correct. There's a different polar angle. Perhaps it's a sister planet of the Earth. Or maybe it's the Earth of 200 million years ago. The only way to answer all the questions is to go and see. Hooray! We're going to go back in time! Uh, go back? Why? One millennium is like another, isn't it? It looks like the outline of the Andes Mountains. Precisely. The identical contours. Look! It's in the shape of a bird! It could be a landing site, Father. Let's get closer. Telemachus, do you remember that legend I once told you about the Inca people? Who are the Incas? The Incas claimed that mysterious beings inhabited the Earth before the appearance of man. They left the planet by airships just before the Great Flood and fled to the far side of the sky. According to the legend, they used these strange places as landing sites. Now we're going to land here. Those beings, where are they now? Maybe they're still there. Who can tell? We'll go down and see if there's any trace of them. Birds! We must have startled them. Brace yourselves, everyone. It looks like they're coming back. Oh. Great galaxies, they're attacking us. It's as if they want to prevent us from landing. Oh, oh I don't want to see this. Just watch! No, stop, stop, Telemachus. Uh. You mean, stay close to me, all of you. Telemachus, Yumi, quickly, into the cave! It 
It's like the control room of a spaceship. Get back. Oh, I'll just press this button. Uh, now this one. Whoops, going down. What's happening? Nono must have set off some kind of security system. We're saved. Great, Nono. A city! People used to live here! Maybe they still do. I could do with a swig of antifreeze. Well, children, I'm afraid we're prisoners. Ulysses, Telemachus, there is an onboard alert. What is it, Shirka? Come in, Shirka. We're not receiving you anymore. Circuits have broken down. Shirka, can you hear me? Try to re-establish contact. Full alert. Strong atmospheric disturbance. Have lost contact with you. Seismic tremors, force 5 on the Richter scale, and rising. There's an alert. Shirka, come in. Shirka! We've lost all sound. Something terrible is about to happen on this planet, and I have no idea what it is. What are we going to do? We'll have a nail or two, and the answer will come to you. What if I try to use telepathy to contact Shirka? Try, Yumi. Go ahead. If you can do it, we might be saved. Alert. Force on Richter scale 7, 8, 9. Shirka warns us of a tidal wave. Follow. Followed by an earthquake, a strong one. I've lost contact. We will all be drowned. Quick, we have got to find a way out of here. Ah. One, two, three. You can count them all you like, but they'll always be nine. That's just it. That's what I find fascinating. There are nine. Isn't that the number of planets in the Earth's solar system? Yes, so what? What are you getting at? If these nine objects represent the nine planets of the solar system, the third one must represent the Earth, the third planet. Maybe, but it's not going to get us out of here, is it? I'm not so sure that it won't. Good, Yumi, you figured it out. This must be a temple to the sun. Look at the sphere drawn on the door. It's identical to the one in front of I you. I still don't get it. Or something is inside there. <gasps> but who? I'm sure of it. Listen. It's going boom, tuck, boom, tuck. A heartbeat. A hibernation chamber. For what? We have to know. Let's try to open it. Soria, who are you? I am Ulysses. This is Yumi from the planet Zatra, my son Telemachus and Nono. Oh! We happen to be here because we are looking for the route back to the Earth. But you are on the Earth, for goodness sake. 
Your Earth and ours are not the same, it would seem. Ours is the Earth of the 31st century. You understand? What? Another Earth? How confusing. But why were you hibernating, Soria? Waiting until the flood was over. The flood? What do you mean? Which flood are you talking about? I'm speaking of the terrible flood that covered our Earth just before we went to sleep. The gods lived here then and we were their slaves. A great flood was predicted and the gods decided to leave without us. The Kikanopters were put on guard to keep us away from the spaceships of the gods. So, in secret, we built ourselves an ark. We took a pair of every species of animal on board. And the flood came. But since the gods left, we've lived in fear of the Kikanopters. No sooner had the flood ended when ice formed over everything and then the black firebirds started attacking us. Every time we tried to go out, they were there. So we took refuge deep inside the earth. Then our supplies ran out. All we could do was go into hibernation and wait for the ice to melt. There were still some Kikanopters, but we didn't know how many. There could have been thousands. The only way to defeat them is through water. That is why we decided to wait for the second flood, and now that it is over... No, Saria, I'm afraid that the second flood is only just beginning. Oh! Take the children, follow me. This is the heart of our city. Up there in the dome is where the other Saurians still sleep. Quickly, we must go and wake them. Impossible. To do that, we must get to the Ark. Where is your Ark? Up there, directly above the city. Ah, then we came in through the Ark. That's how the Kikanopters were able to get in here. Soria, I think that there is just enough time to save all of you. Go up to the Ark and order the Saurians to wake up. Meanwhile, I have an idea. I think I have a way of getting rid of the Kikanopters. Go on, quickly. Soria, I'll go with you. And shall I go with you, Father? No, 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 no. You'll be more useful in the Ark. Emergency alert. Tidal wave imminent. Immense flood about to begin. Ulysses, can you hear me? Shirka, at last. Shirka, keep the Odyssey in geostationary orbit. Maintain contact. Affirmative, Ulysses. There they are. Soria, is there any water in your city? Yes. We have reservoirs. I believe they still have water in them. Good. Then we have a chance. This way. What am I, a robot or a fire engine? Hello? Everything all right? Yes, Telemachus. I'll take care of the firebirds. You manage all the rest. Oh, he sleeps way tired. There they are. To the ark and fast. Sure, but they'll follow us. We're sitting ducks. Now, children. Why are you taking all these precautions? No one must be left behind. Everyone is going to the ark. Every child, every man, woman, everyone. There. 
Everything is ready. Now let's wake them up. Wake, wake up, up, my, my friends. friends. The great, the great flood, flood is not over yet, yet, but still, still you must you wake up. up. <gasps> Look! Father, can you hear me? What is it, Telemachus? Everything's fine here. The Saurians are waking up. Friends, follow me to the ark. The firebirds are in the city. Careful, Yumi. Stand just there, and as soon as we're inside, you press that. I understand. We'll see which is the stronger, fire or water. Keep them back from the ark. Firebirds, you burning vultures, get away! Telemachus, Telemachus, can you hear me? Yes, Father. Are the Saurians ready? Yes, it's almost finished. The ark is ready to leave. No, no, let's go in different directions. Distract the Kikinopters and then join me in the control cockpit. Who, me? Extreme caution. Planetary axis about to reverse polarization. Caution. Everyone at duty stations. Uh, I can't shake them off. Come on, a little more. Oh, get you! Oh! Ulysses, help! I'm melting! I'm melting! Quickly! To the Ark! Attention, the planet's axis is changing now. It's a disaster! Let's hope that the Ark holds together! And Father isn't here yet! The tidal wave. Father, at last, are you hurt? No, I'm all right, but where's No-No? Isn't he here? We thought that you two were together. No-No. Have you seen No-No? No-No! No-No! Oh! Ulysses, you're safe. Yes, but we can't find No-No. Poor No-No carried away in the flood or captured by the kick Oh, no! Not my No-No! Well, we cannot wait. We must float the ark or we run the risk of being crushed by the tidal wave. I know, Saria, you're right. We can't wait.
Shirka, can you hear me? Yes, Ulysses, I hear you. Transmit a visual of the planet on the screens in the arc. Very well. How is the reception? Not very good. The picture is too small. Zoom in a bit, Shirka. Yes, Ulysses. Time curve of the Earth, its past, present, and future. We're coming on board, Shirka. Send us a shuttle right away. As instructed. All of you, listen. What is it? I heard a strange sound coming from the elevator to the pressurized airlock. The Kikonopters, they've returned. I'll go and see. Telemachus, be careful. Oh. No, no. Oh, well, I'm smashed into short circuit and all the count of those hot tempered feathered friends. <laughs> <laughs> We will never forget what Earth people of the 31st century did for Earth people of the past. Do you really think that they were the Earth people of millions of years ago? We didn't imagine that, Flood. It wasn't a dream or mirage. Who can tell? The continents seem identical to the ones on our Earth. This world seems to be an exact copy of ours, but was it our Earth or another planet? One thing is certain. We did meet Saria. Now she and her people are safe to go into their own future. <laughs> <laughs>